all right guys so back out again doing another trick point this time cold low we've already done one called cold low in the langley ford valley and this time we're up at harbottle woods going to go up via the drake stone and onto the top of cold low which will be our 26th trick point and we would have traveled or walked over 100 miles today after today's trick point um, been a bit of a rush morning to get out the house and everything I've managed to leave all the water in the house left the two of the dog leads in the house so I've had to improvise um, look I've got a water filter with us and there's a lake up the top of here so get water for a cup of coffee but I've still got a sandwich so it's win-win and got the drone with us again today but unfortunately it is blowing a bit of a hooli um, I might be able to get out when we drop down into the woods later on but it looks fairly exposed um, on Google Earth it does look like there's a bit of a ruined building up the top which might give a little bit of relief from the wind so I might stop there and have something to eat there hopefully the weather holds off for though it does look fairly clear and bright so looks like the same side hills in the background there not a bad morning so yeah we'll uh, we'll crack on get out of breath a little bit and we'll bring you back So we're at the Drake Stone now. This is approximately 30 foot high, I believe. Um, as you just see there, there looks like there's been some handholds and footholds carved. Apparently, they used to climb it um, a lot of years ago. The young men of the village and everything, the rite of passage. Um, from what I've read online, it, used to, it was dropped here by a glacier, um, judging by the scar on the rock and everything is very erratic so they believe it was dragged here and then deposited as the glacier decided to slip away in the last ice age.
heather, which is, as you can see, is quite deep. I wasn't sure how safe it is to actually drink the water out of our bottle of lake on the top there. I would have thought it would be all right. I'm going to fill up the water and boil it. Um, but according to the map, it looks like there's probably, possibly a stream starts up here somewhere. holds about a litre of water um, so a litre of water will do two cups of coffee and enough to water the dogs at half halfway mark just after the trick point um, but bring it back in a bit because it's pretty hard going on the foot at the minute so bring it back a bit later on Well, I can hear running water, so the map was right. It's down in this ravine here. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Oh, it's buried in there somewhere. Let's see if I can climb down and get some water. That's the water source there. Let's see if I can get the bag in and catch as much as I can. It's like the rocks. Buried under the earth. Let's take a little channel so hopefully I can get it filled up. Well, guys, that's the, the water filtration system filled up. I've got the Soya squeeze water filtration system. It goes about 32 ounces. I'm not sure what that is in milliliters, to be honest with you. Um, so hopefully that's enough for a couple of cups of coffee and water the dogs out until we find the next water source, which is past the trick point, I believe. So we'll give it a go. There's my patiently waiting there for a drink. me map to the top of my bag. Unfortunately the, the wind being that strong on the top, the clips field, hold the map inside of its waterproof case off the top of the bag and it's gone somewhere. Um, luckily I use OS maps and I've got the subscription on my phone and I've got data signal up here so I, I know where to go and it's pretty damn accurate. Use the GPS on your phone to pinpoint your location so you can see all the routes. But I can't just sit back and leave a map out in the wilderness somewhere. So I've already had a look along the ridge line where I'd been walking, and now I'm taking Milo here to have a look along a fence line to see if the wind's taken when it's taken off the top of the bag if it's blown up against the fence somewhere. Um, I think it's come off my bag at that peak over there. So we'll, we'll have a look and we'll see what happens. I'll see if I can, hopefully I can find it. And I've, we're gonna go have a look and see if this building exists. It's on Google Maps, whether or not it exists or not, it's another thing. Um, so we're gonna go there, collect the water from the stream, I want to go try and have a cup of coffee and get up the elements for a little bit. Well, I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, guys, on the map. I'm actually knackered now, though. It's probably only about two miles onto the walk, but never mind. I need to get fit. 
So let's go find Nick now, see where she's at. So coming up here is the abandoned house, which shown on the OS maps is just a little black square. But if you look on the online subscription to OS, um, you can actually see if you turn the aerial view, you can see the, the building um, without the roof on, which is what we have in front of her now. So, we'll get a walk around the building and we're going to stop out of the wind. I'm going to boil this water up that I've got to filter it and boil it and have a cup of coffee. So I've got the vent eventually getting up the wind inside the building. This is the water that I collected from the stream before. I've set the trowel away. Just waiting on that to get the full broom. So let's give this a bash. So that should be enough there for a couple of cups of coffee. It, it actually looks all right, a little bit peaty, but it'll be fine. If you don't see this video, you'll never know what happened. I know my lawn, I said. I know, I know, I know. You get a drink. You can't have much though. I know I put collapsible water bottles on the Christmas list. If someone didn't forget the water bottles in the first place, we're going to save this hassle. But it's handy to know I'm not going to die of dehydration. You don't know what you think? Don't spill it. You just wait there. Give me a little drink of dinky first. Oh, God likes it. Mm. You wait. <laughs> the dog doesn't like it, then he's coughing on there. Is that not nice, son? You're not feeling this full of confidence, like mister. Mm. It might taste better with a bit of coffee, will it? <laughs> yeah, drink my mouth. You have a drink. I'm well, just sitting there having a cup of coffee and this little fella is joined with for a brew. A type of moth of some sort, but I'm not sure what type. Looks like he's got an injured wing, but be on the menu for something. I'm not that hungry at the minute, so <laughs> I'll not eat them this time. So, sorry to interrupt your conversation, guys, but he's ready to go for a walk. You ready to go? We're going to hike on? Go on and get your bags. This is where we've just had something to eat and everything. As you can see, nothing left. I've remembered the map this time. This is what's left of the building. Don't know anything about it, any history or anything, or how long it's been here or what it was. Thought some sort of farm building. I could be totally wrong. Looks like it would have been the old fireplace. See, people have been here and building dry stone walls yeah, there have been some people here lighting fires and everything and burning fence posts mister come on obviously the dog knows better as usual
Would have been a cracking place to live though many years ago. That's a bit better view. So we'll push on, head into the woods and head back to the car. About three, three or four miles to go approximately. So we'll bring us back in a bit. <laughs> woodland track or forest track logging track um, off the military road now heading back to the woods back through the woods now towards the main road or the main B road into Harbot itself I think it's just a short walk along the road back to the car and then the better half falling over three times a little bit clarty wish I had it on video would have been pretty funny but never mind it was another time uh, I might bring her out again we'll see We'll see. Then I got us some stabilizers. Cause I already got a sticks, but some proper stabilizers might help us stop upright a bit longer. But yeah, we'll um, we'll see how we'll get on. So as I said in an earlier video, Milo here is one of those dogs who's just like a big kid. Like, oh look, there's more. That's going to more. Oh look, there's a puddle. That's going to puddle. And we'll demonstrate it now. There he is. You enjoying that soon? Yeah? Good lad. How old then? Did you smile? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey Maya, you good girl? here has got a Rex specs on because she was diagnosed last year with an autoimmune disease called Panis so we're training her to wear these goggles they help filter out the UV light which helps to flare up Maya come on helps to stop the eyes from flaring up because where the whites of her eyes will go bright red and itchy and it looks like she gets a really bad case of conjunctivitis so hopefully she gets used to wearing them and these should be wearing them all the time but it should help her eyesight as well and hopefully prolong our eyes safe for as long as we can. What's that? What is it, Maya? What is it? What is it? She says it's a fat kid chasing us, that's what it is. <laughs> well, that's just walking back along the, the forest road still. Um, hopefully a couple of kilometers from the car. Don't think we're gonna come across anything else we need to fill them. Um, and with walking along a, a, a main road as such with the dogs, I'll probably concentrate on keeping them out of harm's way. Um, the wind's been absolutely horrendous on the top. Shame we haven't been able to get the drone out again. Uh, as always, next weekend. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.